Hi everyone, this is Brian with Water Control Corporation. A frequent topic of conversation nowadays is the issue of municipal water treatment using monochloramine. Plumbers, engineers, manufacturers, and even the public have shown a growing awareness of this issue. Put simply, chloramines are a mixture of chlorine and ammonia. More people are talking about them because more and more cities are using them. Why? Well, some of it has to do with cost. Chloramines are relatively inexpensive. And much of it has to do with EPA regulations regarding THMs, in other words, trihalomethanes, in other words, stuff that can cause cancer in water supplies. And that stuff is formed when chlorine oxidizes certain organic materials that are commonly found in drinking water. In recent years, tests have been developed capable of detecting even a trace amount of these harmful chemicals. Reducing these bad chemicals often means reducing the amount of chlorine that cities add to water. Unfortunately though, this means not enough chlorine to effectively disinfect through miles and miles of water mains. The bigger the city, the longer the mains, the bigger the dilemma. Chloramines do not dissipate like chlorine. They allow cities to reduce the overall amount of chlorine to meet the APA requirements and to still provide a long-lasting disinfectant. Note that generating monochloramine, the good types of chloramine, requires water to have a pH of 8.5 or higher. So cities add other chemicals and minerals to raise the pH. A pH of 8.5 or above in a city is normally an indicator of chloramine treatment. So if they have these benefits, then why are people concerned about their growing usage? Well, there are a lot of things we don't know about the negative effects of chloramines because not a lot of testing or studies have been conducted yet. We do know that rubber gaskets and O-rings, particularly those made of Buna rubber, are quickly dissolved and destroyed by chloramines. We also know that chloramines can accelerate the corrosion of metals in plumbing systems. That would include lead, zinc, and copper. This can lead to leaks, brittle pipes, and potentially unsafe drinking water. There's also growing anecdotal evidence out there that chloramines may cause dry, irritated skin, psoriasis, and even gastrointestinal distress when ingested. The jury is still out on this, but the rumor mill is certainly spinning. Removing chloramines from your drinking water or even your home's water in its entirety requires the use of a filter with a specialized carbon media. This is really similar to how we remove chlorine and other chemicals, but a chloramine-specific carbon media will last a lot longer and do a better overall job than regular carbon. Water control builds chloramine removal systems ranging from point of use to whole house to commercial scale. Some of these systems are even combined with water softening and other contaminant removal. To learn more about chloramine reduction in your home or facility, please contact Water Control.